I'm John Rogers. Uh, I'm a professional trainer and consultant in local currencies. And uh, I originally have a music degree. I call it the people money game, which is named after a book I wrote last year, People Money, uh, which is describing local currency systems. So the purpose of the game is to, it's a training tool and it's designed to get people who, who know nothing or very little about this field uh, to get up to speed very quickly. What I've noticed uh, after 20 years of messing around with local currencies that for newcomers a, a lot of the discussion about monetary theory can be quite a switch off. So I've designed the game to make it easy for newcomers to get into this quickly. Now, how does it work? Uh, we don't start with currency. We actually start with asking people to tell us their personal needs and their personal offers, and then to match those with other people in the room. Many people don't really understand how our current money system works because they've never thought about it and they've never gone and sought information about it. And I think when you confront them in a game situation with a very clear reality that I as the bank say, I'll give you 50 euros and at the end of this round I want 51 euros back, 2% interest, and it's a compulsory loan so it's artificial for the game, but at the end of the game I come back and I say, give me 51 euros, some people can't, so I say, well, give me your house, or your car, or your guitar, or whatever. And, and then we stop that round because it's clear to everybody that this is a loser game. When we build interest in, and the banks aren't creating that interest, they're only creating the principle of the loan when they create money, then it's a loser game. It's, it's an artificial situation in the game, clearly, but it, it, it's trying to uh, give people that learning very quickly about that an interest-bearing system has problems with it. Um, and it does create losers and it creates competition automatically. It must do. We stop the game. So now the banker came back one year after, please give me yes. back my money. I, I, I deliberately dramatize it yeah. to yeah. kind of bring it home. This mm -hmm. is the reality of our present system. Yes. It's, it's aggressive. Sorry to yeah, it's aggressive. Very nice. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And so from that round then we go on to introduce other kinds of currency which operate in a different way, which are interest free and which are, are simply working as, as a real medium of exchange to reflect people's desired exchanges of goods and services. I run it in several places now, mainly in Germany, uh, but uh, I've gained quite a lot of experience and each time I run it I learn something new and I improve the game and build something into it. I don't claim to have all the answers by any means, uh, but the thing I've come to focus on very much is actually the design process for local currency systems, because I think that's where an awful lot of uh, the future failures occur, that people set out with often too much idealism and enthusiasm and don't really think through what it is they're doing. They maybe don't listen to people who've had some experiences and they're carried away by their idea, um, and I always say that I think we may need more methodology and less ideology in this field so that we can create more resilient systems in the future. You have two options. Uh, you can book me as a facilitator to come and run the game with you um, because I designed it and I've got the experience of running it or I'm offering the instructions for the game uh, with a Creative Commons license as a free download from my website, which is uh, www.valueforpeople, all one word, .co.uk.